Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dolakia and you are watching its tomorrow news. Hurricane force wind gust pummel the New England coast. A powerful storm is impacting residents along the New England and US coastline with heavy rain, coastal flooding and hurricane force wind gusts. Meanwhile, the Gulf Coast could see another tropical system in the coming days. A disturbance in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico is likely to become a tropical storm that will hit the northern US Gulf Coast with wind, rain and storm surges, forecaster said on Thursday. Moving off the eastern coast of Mexico, the low pressure system is likely to develop into a tropical or subtropical system before Friday, according to the National Hurricane Center. The National Weather Service warned of tropical storm force winds of sections of the Gulf Coast and dangerous storm surges of up to 5 feet along with parts of the Florida coast. Forecasters have issued both a tropical storm warning and a storm surge warning. A record-breaking autumn storm plunged hundreds of thousands of people into the dark topple trees, cancelled schools and delayed trains in the northeast part of the United States while persistent winds thursday hampered efforts to clean up and restore power and clean up. The nor'easter brought high winds and rain to the region on Wednesday and Thursday. Wind gusts to as high as 144 km per hour on Cape Cod, Massachusetts, where about 2 lakh residents low per lost power. The storm also left nearly 2 lakh people without power in Maine. Heavy rain combined with 96 km per hour wind gusts knocked down trees and power lines advising residents to look for hazardous and Thursday because of many roads were unsafe, the agency said. In Portland, Maine, the atmospheric pressure at sea level, an indicator of the strength of a storm, was the lowest ever recorded in October, said William Watson, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Maine. Nine boats were tossed ashore in Rockland Mine in a pipe year suffered some damages, said Executive Director of the Cruise Mine. The nor'easter form of heavy New Jersey strengthening and its travel north. New York authorities said a wind-driven fire destroyed three houses in the Fire Island hamlet of Ocean Bay Park early Thursday. No injuries were reported. Train delays, power outages and school cancellations were reported throughout the region Thursday morning. Leaves the debris that later roads created a slippery traffic hazards for commuters. Storm intensify is measured by central pressure. The lower pressure, the stronger it is. A storm is considered a bomb when the pressure drops rapidly. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jit Dolakia. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.